and welcome to Beagle Hardware's How to Ethernet video. My name is Kelsey and today we will be showing you how to configure an Epson receipt printer to your network. First you'll need your receipt printer, your point of sale cashier PC, a router, and a LAN connection. You want to make sure you have a CAT 5.6 patch cord with an RJ45 female end. If you're unsure of what this is, check our website. You'll also want to make sure you have the Type 4 interface card, not the Type 3. That's the latest edition, so we'll be showing you that model. Check your interface card in the back of your printer. It should be connected by two screws. Also, make sure your dip switch settings are correct. You can check this on our website at beaglehardware.com. Test your printer to make sure it is all running correctly. Insert a pen into the back of your printer and hold it for three seconds on the interface card. It should print your IP address and model settings. If this does not work, you'll need to reset your printer to default settings. To do this, you'll want to turn on the power while pressing the back for five seconds. This will print all your new settings, but be patient because it will print a confirmation sheet as well as one that says it is changing the settings. Next, you want to change your adapter to be recognized on your network. Basically, the card needs to have an IP address that is acceptable to your network so it can talk to it. Since the card starts with one that is not acceptable to your network, you will need to change your computers to be able to talk to your card. Then you can change your adapter's IP address. To do this, go to Windows and access the adapter under Network Connections. Note the IP address for later. Set the IP to an address in the same domain as the adapter, but make sure the last three digits, or two, or one, however many after the last dot, are different. Now you will need the TMNet configuration program. You can get this through our website at beaglehardware.com. Once you have it, open your web browser and type in the IP address. Then a window will open up, or access it through the program like this. Once the TMNet program opens, you will want to click Configuration on the side. Now select TCP IP under Configuration. Simply enter the digits that you want to change it to and press Submit when you are finished. Now you should see a screen come up that says Configuration Change is complete. You will want to reset your printer or you can do it manually as well. You can now install the printer using the Epson drivers. Consult BeagleHardware.com for more information. At Beagle Hardware, we sell and support Epson POS printers, like this TMT88 with Ethernet and other interfaces. We also have supplies, support, and excellent customer service. Thanks for watching the video.